on this 50 point inspection, I have effed from Tox Brewing Company. This is an Amarillo IPA. It's dry hopped with Amarillo hops, 7% ABV. Now it is uh, brewed and packaged by 12% uh, out of North Haven, Connecticut for Tox Brewing Company. Um, I'm calling it EFT. It's E F T. I don't know. It could stand for E foot. <laughs> uh, or it could be E F T, or maybe it is EFT. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool can art. It uh, looks like it's definitely like a Mayan area, probably out of Mexico type deal uh, with the can art or. Or somebody out, somewhere out in the rainforest. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got that tox, tox frog there all the time. Uh, slithery snake. Hanging plants. Old ladybug. I think that's always in there. There's like a gecko, lizard type thing on there. Little. Little bugs in the flowers, it looks like, maybe. Maybe that's just the inside of the flowers. But, yeah, pretty cool can art. I, I, I do dig their can art. Um, sometimes if you look hard enough, you'll find something. But you didn't notice right off, so that's why I was taking my time looking. But let's go ahead and crack into this one now and give it uh, uh, an inspection. It's difficult outside because it's so backlit. Uh, sometimes it just the picture might go quite uh, bright here at some some point but uh, anyways the head on this beer is a white head it looks like it's gonna start to turn rocky right now it's kind of soap sudsy frothy yes um, color is a pretty deep orange I'd call it like kind of a blood orange color almost uh, it is hazy and uh, let's get some aromas It's like zesty grapefruit tea. It's like a, a, a bit of a bit of grapefruit, but it's like it got this kind of like zesty and uh, tea-like note to it. Say a little bit of like a biscuity malt presence. Uh, maybe like a touch of honey. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of strange. Uh, I, I'd say I'm going to throw a little bit of lemon in this as well. Either lemon or lime type zesty, citrusy type thing going on. Might be an underlying kind of tangerine note. But yeah, it's got this kind of like grapefruit tea right up front and just various other aromas that you try to pick out if you can anyways uh all right let's go in for the first swig here so cheers this is just such a strange strange flavored beer um yeah it's semi-soft mouthfeel uh kind of a medium body to it uh carbonation is present maybe uh, medium to lower side medium realm in the carbonation it does have this kind of weird like I don't even know if that's grapefruit anymore it's, it's got this strange like tea it's like tea leaves um, there's a zestiness to it a little bit of a citrus note in there that could be like a grapefruit, citrus type thing. A little bit of kind of like a white bread maltiness. Maybe a slight touch of like a biscuit. Still seems to be like this honey note in there too. Maybe it's just this tea thing. Maybe it's just kind of it's like put some honey in some tea or something. I don't know. There's a, this like slight sweetness. It does remind me a bit of honey. Um, It's the bitterness on it is kind of low, a lower bitterness level. Um, 
it does have this just zesty, zingy thing it just does to the uh, to the tongue. It's uh, kind of like drying. Uh, it almost it almost feels sparkly on the tongue. Um, but all right, I don't think there's going to be much more I can get out of this. Uh, oh, this was. Uh, I didn't look at the date until just now. <laughs> this was canned in February, two thousand twenty-two. So we are about four, a little over four months in on this beer. Yeah. That might be that T note. Wow, okay. I uh I should really start looking at at canned on dates if I can. I can't believe that. I thought that I thought this was a newer beer. Let's give it a score. Okay, we're back. And now I am extremely disappointed. Uh, finding out that this beer is that old uh, <laughs> much better explains this whole tea note that I'm getting uh, so it'd be nice to actually have this beer when it's fresh uh, and yeah is it still within its kind of six month time frame that they give it but this is what happens a lot I think uh, you might be lucky and you may find a, a few few beers that can, can stay on the shelf uh, or even in a fridge for a period of time and uh, just kind of uh, beat the, the odds of time but this one I don't think did uh, as far as I know Amarillo does not give off tea notes so pretty sure it's just the dying hop so for the appearance I gave this beer a 6 out of 6 for the aromatics yeah, it was very strange. It was weird. Like I said, grapefruit tea, uh, for the most part, a little bit citrusy, a little bit of the malt coming through, um, kind of sweet, uh, maybe a little bit of honey type thing going on. I'm at a 5.5 .5 out of 10 for the aromatics. On the flavor, same thing. A little bit of the malt um, coming through, a little bit of that kind of honey-like tone for me. Uh, the hops just seemed not great once again big tea note um, bit of that kind of grapefruit there's a bit of citrusy um, type thing could it be lemon lime could just be the grapefruit type thing but yeah definitely with the tea note and then also seeing that it is this old it's more than likely the hops are just fading out um, so not a great representation of what this beer probably was originally supposed to be but I'm at a 12.5 out of 19 for the flavor notes as it stands right now on the body I'll give it the 5 out of 5 it's a nice medium body it does have a semi semi smooth uh, mouthfeel to it my overall um, yeah 5.5 .5 out of out of 10 of my overall I don't really appreciate tea notes in a lot of beers it has worked in some especially when it's meant to be there there is a, a hop bridle or maybe two that do give off like a black tea uh, type note as well, just as what they do. But um, yeah, this is going get, to get a bumpy 34.5 out of 50, which is going to keep it as drinkable. Um, I would like to try this one fresh, uh, but I'd probably just buy one can of it at this point. I do have the remaining three cans of this old stock uh, on untapped says eft is not only a cute little newt so i guess that's a newt not a uh whatever the hell i was calling it um with toxic skin uh don't eat one okay uh, but it's also the name of our rotating hop ipa series consistent whirlpool hop paired with amarillo followed by a sizable dry hop with exclusively amarillo Big notes. Of, oh, they give. Um, they should be tasting. Big notes of dank peach. Maybe. Um, lemongrass. It could be that kind of lemon lime type note I was getting. Apricot. Couldn't really say that. Or melon. But yeah, I could see like the peach. You know, uh, 
possibly being in there. I was, I was, I was seeing kind of like a grapefruit type citrusy thing, but um, yeah, maybe that's a mix between peach and apricot. But still, nonetheless, tea is not mentioned, and tea is a huge flavor in this beer that I'm getting now. Um, and out of 629 ratings. It scores a 3.91 out of 5 on untapped. So, uh, yeah, I'll just say cheers and thank you all for watching. And remember, uh, check over your beer sometime. Uh, just look for the dates. Sometimes you'll find them, sometimes you won't. I wish I'd, wish I'd seen, seen the dates on this one before I purchased it for sure. Um, but you never know. So, cheers. Thank you for watching.